nationally wrenching day of testimony today in the case against Casey. And for the first time, prosecutors lay out their case of how Kaylee was murdered and why a jury should decide whether the death penalty is warranted. West 2's Bob Keeling has been following this case since day one. And Bob, why were the prosecution's actions today so significant? Well, because it was like a punch in the stomach surprise to not only Casey Anthony, who was just sitting a few feet away, but also to her parents who left the courtroom, as well as to her defense team who had just finished arguing why the state did not have grounds to seek the death penalty. Could Kaylee have understood what was happening to her? Did she try to resist? Could her killer see the fear in her eyes as the tape was applied? Casey Anthony sobbed heavily as prosecutor Jeff Ashton for the first time laid out two theories of how Kaylee Anthony was murdered. Either someone knocked her out with chemicals and suffocated her with duct tape, or they physically restrained her so she couldn't remove the tape herself. Maybe her killer even saw her eyes as the tape was applied. First one piece, then two, then three, so that no breath was possible. During this description, Kaylee's grandmother, Cindy Anthony, left the courtroom sobbing, followed closely by husband George. Shock for, for George and Cindy, something I didn't anticipate them having to go through. Casey's defense team seemed stunned too. They argue the state only wants the death penalty because a death qualified jury is more likely to convict. Well, they can think and tell stories all they like, but they're going to have to back it up with actual evidence, which we don't believe they can. Orlando defense attorney Richard Hornsby says the state today backed up its circumstantial case with a strong theory of how Kaylee died. Uh, Jeff Ashton was basically saying, listen, we don't have anything to hide here. You want to know what our theory is? Here it is. Come and get us, because we feel confident this is what happened. Now, before all this death penalty debate came up, there was also an emotional argument from Casey's defense on why the state should not be allowed to continue videotaping visits from her uh, legal team, if that's happening, plus her family members. The, uh, and the county said that the judge doesn't have jurisdiction to tell the jail what to do. So far, he has not ruled on that. We'll have much more at 5. Reporting live at the Orange County Courthouse, Bob Keeling, West 2 News. Bob,